Hello, it's Monday, it's hot and sticky and ready for another episode of Narrowboat Lane. How are we doing? Uh, been a corking few weeks, really beautiful weather, and we can't complain. I must keep reminding myself not to complain about the weather, but it's horrible. It's lovely if you're out cruising, and I really do envy you all, but when you're stuck in a dusty, horrible factory, it's not the best. But still, we're home. After a hard day, just relaxing with a nice cold drink, took the dog for a walk. Um, and although I said it'd be a quiet couple of weeks, we have done some bits and bobs on the boat. So I thought I'd just do a quick vlog and get you up to speed. So uh, let me show you what I've been doing. First thing we've been doing this, this weekend is uh, the lady that we bought the dinette come sofa bed come whatever off has decided that she doesn't want the table. So I went over to collect the table and we've installed that with these little feet just there. A couple of them went in. With a, with a hole, so I didn't film it because to be fair, I think we all know how to cut a hole in a bit of wood, don't we? Um, yeah, so that looks good. Um, that's gonna get sanded because I'm not keen on the orange look. So um, the sides are also a little bit orange where I think it's pine that's just been over varnished all the time. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand that back and I'm gonna try and stain it, um, which, will match these when I finally get around to um, staining these sideboards as well try and pull the boat together a bit because at the moment as you can see we've probably got about 17 different shades of wood in here um, yeah I know it would just make it look a bit more uniformed I think so there's that and then if I take you through to the bow out in the well deck we've been busy um, I was having to dig through the front um, locker over there and um, managed to find a pot of paint and it happened to be the cream which the boat was painted with now what I should have done if I was an experienced vlogger was talk at least before and after photos rather than or even film me doing it um, I didn't but if you look at the first video the journey begins you'll see how messy and crappy it was so I think it's really brand deal let me show you you know it's not perfect but then I don't proclaim to be a paint out of boats but I don't think that looks too bad it looks nice and bright all the blue like I've said before is all going black so I think that'll really pop the other thing that I've done is because of the sunshine and the heat the floor in the whale deck was getting red hot I mean to the point where you couldn't even touch it uh, and I didn't want Henry going out there and scalding his paws and blistering so I had a bit of a result. I found on Halford's website this rubber matting that you can see it sort of just push fits together. And I know it's a bit bubbly, but that's because I've not fitted it properly as yet. But I've just put it down for now. Um, down the sides, I'm going to be putting some wooden storage cupboards just under the gunnels on, on both sides. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And I want, um, I want space down the side for any runoffs to go through to the drainage holes which are there I think you can see one and I've got one on the other side as well so that was all right there are ten of each um, I need I needed like one and a half packs so but I think that looks a lot nicer and brighter place to sit but it will be obviously a lot better when it's all there uh, all finished off but uh, I'm taking my time at the moment nothing's getting rushed um, managed to get my old guitar on the wall so that's better apart in the way and that's about it jobs wise on the boat for this week <sighs> so warm um our channel is not going to be purely about uh i forgot what side the camera was then uh about <laughs> um doing it up it's just that that happens to be what i'm doing at the moment we do go out not very often but we do so i will be getting a few 
of us actually enjoying the boat rather than just working on it because sometimes I suppose it's easy to fall into the trap where all you seem to be doing is working on the boat and doing jobs and going to our day jobs and just getting caught up in everyday life there is fun stuff to be had too but um, yeah sometimes like I say it's easy to just let the fun stuff slip away and concentrate purely on the work that needs doing um, so yeah I mean it's all good um, we're, we're not going to be blacking our boat now in August like I thought we were going to be um, we got let down so that's not happening um, so what we're going to do because it's not in a terrible state I mean it does need doing but because it's not in a terrible state we're going to leave it now we're going to we're going to see through this year I'm going to get the outside of the boat painted I'm going to finish up the jobs that need doing inside the boat which includes fitting the stove I don't want to fit the stove yeah so we'll get the stove fitted we'll get the boat painted and then we're going to just see through another winter and um, save up and then rather than go into all the trouble and the mess and the hard work of doing it myself i'm just going to throw money at someone and tell them to come and do my boat um yeah so that's going to be happening sort of like as soon as we get rid of the horrible weather sort of next year um yeah other than that everything's as normal so another little short video for me um and i'll catch you again as soon as i've got something to show you Cheers. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers!